I'm Ambassador Philip Rieker, and I am uh, the Deputy Assistant Secretary of State uh, in the Bureau of uh, European and Eurasian Affairs at the U.S. State Department with a portfolio for what we call South Central Europe, uh, that is the, the Balkans, uh, some would call them the Western Balkans, uh, essentially uh, most of former Yugoslavia and Albania. I think we can say that there's been great progress compared to where we were uh, in 1992 and the violence, the horrific uh, scenes that we saw uh, in Europe, things that we thought we had put behind us uh, after World War II. On the very positive side, we've seen the progress of many countries uh, on uh, Euro-Atlantic integration. Um, Croatia is a perfect example, having uh, just uh, yesterday uh, voted in a referendum in support of their European Union membership. And uh, by summer of 2013, they will be um, uh, the 28th member of the European Union, something the United States is very uh, pleased about because we want to see all the countries of uh, South Central Europe, the Western Balkans, uh, move forward with a European perspective and join Euro-Atlantic uh, institutions, which we believe provide the right framework, uh, as they have in other parts of Europe, uh, for peace, for prosperity, a reflection of our vision, our foreign policy goal of a Europe whole, free, democratic and at peace. Albania and Croatia joined NATO in 2009. Uh, the uh, North Atlantic Council, of course, has said that Macedonia will receive an invitation to NATO uh, for membership as soon as it resolves uh, its issue with Greece. Um, and uh, Kosovo itself has made uh, tremendous progress as it nears uh, four years of independence uh, and is consolidating itself and its institutions uh, as a multi-ethnic uh, democracy reflecting uh, the values of, of 21st century Europe. In Montenegro, we've seen uh, great progress towards uh, both NATO membership and uh, EU membership. And Serbia has taken some remarkable and notable steps uh, in terms of reforms and progress. And we very much support uh, Serbia's efforts uh, to gain candidacy in the European Union. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, they've been uh, invited to begin a membership action plan for NATO, uh, and uh, we hope they'll take the steps to, to activate that. And we work very closely, of course, with our European colleagues and with others in support of uh, continued uh, development and stability. There are still challenges, uh, rule of law, uh, transnational issues, uh, corruption, crime need to be dealt with. These are uh, challenges that we face uh, all over the, the world, but are a particular uh, challenge to uh, lasting stability and prosperity in, uh, in the Western Balkan region.